For many athletes, the risk of injury is part of the game. While all injuries should be taken seriously, concussion injuries are often overlooked. A concussion is a temporary alteration in normal conscious activity as a result of a blow to the head. Athletes uh, may be dazed uh, extremely briefly from a matter of seconds uh, to several minutes. Paul Blanton is the director of the Sports Related Concussion Clinic at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. He screens athletes before and after concussion using a computerized test called IMPACT. It measures cognitive functions such as learning, memory, and reaction time. You can bring in groups of athletes for preseason baseline testing. And then in the event that a player has a concussion during the season, we will actually be able to repeat the testing and compare those results with their baseline results. A player should not return to play until they've returned to cognitive baseline. Returning an athlete to competition too soon can be dangerous, especially if the player receives a second concussion in the same time period. And it's unfortunately often assumed by many coaches and athletes and, and parents as well that an athlete doesn't really sustain a concussion unless they're knocked out. Athletes in collision sports like football, hockey, and soccer are at a greater risk for concussion. But proper training can help prevent injury. There's a lot of hard challenges out here going up for a lot of head balls. And uh, what, we, what we do is we try to train them so that they're doing everything correctly so that we minimize the risks of that happening. From the University of Alabama at Birmingham, this is Andrea Reber reporting.